In this video, we're going to learn how to sketch a plane and a, uh, and a line in 3D space. So let's say you've been given an equation for a plane. So, uh, so set x and y to be 0. So set the x and y to be 0. So, so x is moving in this direction. When you set it to 0, it must, in the x direction, it must lie here. And then when uh, y is moving in this direction, when you set y to be uh, to be zero, it will be right here. So so it's just us working out the the height. How high up will it be? So uh, so if, if you set this to be zero, then this will disappear. This will disappear. So z must be one. So it must be one up. So 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 the height must be one because we we set x to be uh, x to be zero. So it's going to be here. Y to be zero. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, here, and then it's just a matter of working out the height. The height would be one. So we know our we know our our, our plane must cross must cross here. So now uh, now set this to to be zero. Set this to be zero, and work out how much in the y direction it would be. So uh, so x x is moving along here. So when you set it to zero, it must lie somewhere along here. And then when, when you, so z is moving in this direction, so the height would be, when you set it to zero, the height would be zero. So really it's just us working out how, how far across it will be. So when you set this to zero, this will disappear, this will disappear. y must be three. So y must be three. So, uh, so, so one, two, three. So it must be here. So it must cross here. And then now, um, now set, uh, Set this to be zero. Set this to be zero. So, um, so, so x must be two. So, uh, so it will be one, two. It will be right, right here. Okay. So bear with me. So your plane, your plane will be this plane here. Will be this plane here. So now, now you can have a rough idea of what a plane will look like. Okay. So now for a straight line. So let's say you you've been given this uh, uh, this as uh, as your line. So uh, so when time when when t equals zero, so when t equals zero, um, x will be when t equals zero when when t equals zero, uh, this will disappear. So x would be x will be uh, eight over three. So eight so in the x direction. So this is the x direction. Uh, this is so, oh, this is almost almost three, so it's two and a bit. In the x direction, it will be here. And then when when t equals zero, um, y will be zero. Y will be zero. So the y direction here will be zero. So so it must lie somewhere here. And then uh, z z will be one. So it, it goes one up. So uh, so your starting point when t equals zero, your starting point will be. You know, your starting point would be well we were here one up z is z is one so our starting point would be here somewhere there and then when t equals one when t equals one uh put one into the t here so this would be uh this would be eight over three and then when when you put one into the t it would be two two is six over three so now it's um it's uh fourteen over three fourteen over three so that's uh, that's just under five. So one, two, three, four, just under five. So in the x direction, in the x direction, it will be somewhere around here. Uh, put remember we are looking at, at when t equals one. So when when t equals one, y will be negative two. Y will be negative two. So um, so y is in this direction. Negative two. Well, one, two. It will be around here. Uh, when when t equals one. Z will be two. Z will be two. So it will be two up. One, one, two. So it would be somewhere around here. So your, it will be, it will be somewhere around here. Hang on, bear with me. So your, um, your line will look something like this. Your line will look something like this. Your line will look something like this. So this will be your line. And then you can extend it in the negative direction, in the positive direction. So that's what the line will look like in 3D space. So in the next video, we are going to find out where the two, where the two will intersect. So you've got a line here. So, so we'll probably inter so this is your line here. So, uh, so this is your line here. So it will probably intersect somewhere around here. 
So in the next video, we're going to try and figure out this location. Okay.